What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner. And the other day during my live radio blog talk show and uh, me being live on YouTube, I wasn't able to get to uh, Congresswoman Tlaib, who basically called uh, Mark Meadows a racist and Lynn Patton a, 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 a prop. I mean, just straight, you know, just demolish her. Man, she's a prop. Um, and she said, you know, by bringing out this black woman to say, hey, just because you got one black person working for you doesn't make you a racist. That in itself is racist. And to use her as a prop. Yeah, that's racist. Now, I'm thinking that's very rich coming from a uh, lady of color that's working for the Democratic Party. Um, they are the masters of bringing in people of color just because they are a party that have a plethora of what appears to be diverse people only just so they can grandstand and use identity politics and boast about being diverse. But they don't really focus on the intelligence and the the policies of these women and these people of color. That's what they're doing. They're using all of them as props brought all of them right up to Congress to question Michael Cohen. What do you think that they were using those people for, huh? Yeah, Tlaib, um, uh, 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 Cortez, all of them that's up there attacking the, the president's character by taking the word of this criminal. They're props. I mean, when you see a black person in a Democratic Party that have made it up through the ranks most of the time, those are people who the Democratic Party don't mind them getting a certain degree of power because it makes them look like they're the party that fights against racism and encourages inclusive, uh, inclusiveness and, and, and all of those things. But really, they use them as props. First thing happened when they won the House. Look at all the women that we brought in. Then they went down the list of race sex, gender, all of these things to highlight, look at us, we're virtuous because we have all of these black people, all of these women, these people of color, all of these things. Yeah, they brought in all of their props. Uh-huh, see, but the problem is the props are starting to act up. Yeah, their props are getting them in trouble like this lady Tlaib who spoke out yesterday and then tried to walk it back. And Isaiah Cummings uh, was hurting up there. He's uh, rubbing his head. Uh, all right, give me a minute. Dang it. Just give me a minute. Okay. All right. Now, I'm sure she wasn't trying to. Now, he's mansplaining for her. Where was all the people? Where? Why weren't they like, well, you don't have to say what she meant. Yeah, yeah he's up there trying to man. I'm going to give you another chance now to say what you really feel. Don't you put me in this situation here. You're going to make me see y'all young freshmen come in here making some stupid choices and I'm going to clean this mess up for you. But after what, we're going to have a talk, okay? Then she goes on to CNN and they echo the same thing. You know, she never apologized to um, the lady who she called a prop. You know, it was just like, well, I, I'm a person that keeps it real. I'll say, if I wanted to say he was a racist, he was a racist. I just want to bring the attention to uh, everybody and make them aware of my thoughts or opinion. She said she wanted to educate everybody on the way she felt. You can't educate somebody on the way that you feel. You do it based off of facts, information, data, things like that. Who cares what you feel? Okay. Nobody cares about that. We want some facts. And so I guess uh, we're responsible for taking how she feels as enlightenment and educating us to make us go away. You know what? I thought books and, and reading and, 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 and proven data was to educate us. But I guess your feelings now are in control and responsible for educating us. So thank you. Thank you. So now I'm going to go ahead and take that to heart and say that you feeling as if what Cohen is saying is true and that the president is racist, now it's changed my whole opinion. Because apparently your feelings are facts. And that's what the Democrats want you to do. They want you to buy into their emotional rants, their virtue signaling, their claims of racism, sexism, misogyny, and attacks on other black people. So here's what kills me. If you are black and conservative, if you are black and a part of the Trump administration or black Trump supporter, 
then you're now just reduced to a prop, an Uncle Tom, somebody who don't know what they're doing, somebody who's being used. But see, here's the irony of that. I always said it. Black Trump supporters and conservatives are highly intelligent because guess what? We don't just run with the sheep because it's easy to be a part of a party that says everybody else over there is racist, sexist, and no good, and they're evil people. So now all of a sudden, you know that by being a conservative or supporting Trump, you're going to get put into those categories, Uncle Tom or whatever. So for you to make that decision, you're not doing that off of feelings, because if this, if that's what it was about, all black Trump supporters wouldn't be black Trump supporters or conservatives. They would run with the Democratic Party because that is the path of least resistance. You ain't going to get called out. You're not going to be demonized, called a, a prop a racist, a sexist, uh, a Uncle Tom, or whatever else they want to call you. So now you have to justify your choice for supporting either Trump or being a conservative as a black person. You can't just wing it and go off of feelings. All right. That means most black conservatives have thought it out. They have real reasons of why they're conservative. They have adapted and grown to be able to see through the crap of the left. And so they're saying, you know what? I'm willing to sacrifice popularity. I'm willing to sacrifice people patting me on the back and all of these things. I'm willing to sacrifice potential for relationships with friends because when they find out that you supported Trump, they don't want to talk to you no more. I had people unfriending me on Facebook, y'all. You know, like, I, you all unfriend me, you know, when you was little, that really hurt. You know, little kid get mad and be like, well, you know what? You're not my friend. <gasps> Mom, he said I'm not his friend. Yeah, yeah. But I had to learn real quick. My mom had to start telling me, listen, if they're not your friend, so what? Okay. If they probably weren't your friend in the first place. All right. So um, that's how black conservatives and Trump supporters have to operate. We can't be debating and having conversations with other minorities off of feelings. Because, see, that's what they're going to do. Come in like, how you going to support him? He's a racist, sexist, misogynist. All the talking points that CNN, MSNBC, and the Democrats have downloaded into their brain. Enter. Downloaded all that information. And now you sitting there expecting and knowing most likely the arguments that they're going to throw out. Well, what about when he said that uh, uh, that there was two people, uh, nice people down in Charlottesville? What about when he called uh, all the Mexicans rapists? The, the same old talking points that they've been conditioned to say. So we're not going to combat that with emotions. We combat that with critical thinking, reasoning, facts, all of that stuff. So Black people on the right are nowhere near props. They're probably the most critical thinking black people in our community. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy how I talk to other minorities and just hear them smart in almost every area, but then get to politics and buy into the garbage just being sho uh, shoved down their throat through the media and the Democrats. Unbelievable. So for her to make that statement, it shows where the real racism and props are being used. Right. See, the Democrats love trotting black people and women and all these diverse people out and say, look at us. Look at us. See, we're we're diverse. We're, we're. But if those people don't have quality, if they don't have wisdom, if they don't have uh, experience, knowledge or even a governor in the brain when they spew out stuff like she spewed out, you know, so what? I mean, you just got them out this props. Yeah. See, Lynn is intelligent. I met her at the White House. Very intelligent. I listened to Tlaib. I listened to Cortez. I listened to Omar. And it's like nobody's home. Okay? So that's a real prop. A prop like you just stick a black lady up there as a puppet because she don't have anything in her brains. All right? If you're going to have black people and women in your party and in Congress, at least put somebody in there to have intelligence. People in there that make sense. All right. Not just to say, look, we're diverse. So what if people are out there spewing up the kind of stuff we've been hearing coming out of that party? Uh, then that's what a real prop is. It's like, man, I could have set a puppet out there that would have represented us better than Omar slash Cortez slash Tlaib. 
the stuff that they're saying. We're going to impeach the MF for, uh, yeah, uh, Lindsey Graham have been compromised by the president. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, we don't need facts. Some people worry about the details and the facts versus the morality of it. Stupid stuff like that. The Green Deal or all this craziest stuff been coming out of those women. All right. That's props. I'm going, man, you look diverse, but the people you're propping up in front of us, you know, that's all it is. A full blown puppet, bubble head. And I'm not saying that because they're women. OK, I'm making the contrast. OK, there's women that work for the president, black women that are highly intelligent, well thought out, and they use their noodles. They're able to see through all that garbage versus the array of diverse people over on the, the Democratic Party that has the hamster on the wheel. You know, just anything spews out of their mouth. It makes no sense. Anyway, you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Got me all hot, my pressure up and everything. Anyway, find me every Wednesday night, 7.30, live on YouTube. Also, check me out on uh, Facebook, Twitter, my live radio blog talk show. All the links are on the bottom. Also, check out Extreme Tees. You'll love their products. Um, click on the link below. Put my name in the promo, Kevin, and you'll get a 20% discount. Also, don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button, and we'll see you next time in Kevin's Corner. God bless.